Alrighty, welcome back. We're back again. And the reason being is we're the same day. It's just that we're doing another one because we're going to get at it and put the floor in. Um, basically, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to air the tire up. And uh, me and Aiden are going to roll this bad boy underneath the car. Um, there was a couple mistakes I made. When, when I put the car on the first time, I put a line across the frame. And uh, that's where the front mount rested on the frame. When I made the skeleton, I went... A piece of square stock ahead of that line so what I did is I laid a piece of square stock on there and drew a line on the floor and that's where the car is going to sit on the on the new floor so basically we're just going to push it out I'm going to air up this tire hope it stays up good and we're going to try to you know we're, we are we're going to connect the a pillar and the B pillar on it so the floor once we get the, once we lower this down on this there's the the mount right in the front of the car is going to be here we're going to tack it there then we have the a pillar then we have the b pillar once that's done this floor will be a part of the car because it unbolts from the underneath here where we bolted it to the chassis that pulls off and uh this, let's do it let's do it so we're just going to roll this underneath and then we're going to let the, the let the hoist down and uh, we're going to go from there. I don't think, don't think I need the glasses. I don't think I need these. This is what we're building. If you've, missed, if, you've not, if you've been watching, you've probably seen on some of the posts. You can see how big them tires are in the back, or what it looks to me. You can see how far out the front tires are and how far out the back tires are. So what I'm thinking is, is the tire that we have over there, the great big sucker, is the one will be the back tire that would be the size of the back tire and a 235 whatever to the size this tire is would be the front tire so that's probably what we're gonna it's gonna be a monster it's gonna be a monster so that would be the back tire that would be the front tire bigs and littles and they're both big so I think it's cooler than dang it I don't need these I don't think I do so basically what we need to do, Aiden, where we cut them pieces off the front, yep. we just want to line them up with that line and line it up with that line. And then we'll take and center the, not the A pillar, but the B pillar in the back. We'll make a certain distance on each side yep. and then we'll connect them. Then it'll be connected. Then we cool. can call it a car with a new floor. Put my gloves on. And this is something anybody can do. Um, having the hoist is a very big help. Yes, it is. You want to just push that wheel. Having the hoist is a very big help. But um, let's face it, if you're going to be start doing this sort of stuff, you'd want a hoist. You can jack it up and do it the way you want to. We'll try to straighten the bed way out a little bit. Yep. All right. Now um, we're going to have to pull the rear end. All right. So we want this. We want this line right here, in on that line right there. We're going to bring that hit. We can actually get it steered and get it going right. Bring our head some. Turn the wheels. Get that rear end over a little bit. Bring our head some. Got to do a little bit of walking around with it. I'm just wondering if we're... Not doing so good. Get that ass end over that way. That way, okay, yeah. Turn it your way. I still need it over there more. Remember, I can build a car, but can't drive worse shit, so. <laughs> Let's just pick this front end up and pull it over instead of keep doing that. We can pull it over some. That don't look bad. You want this right about that. right there on that line. So this here yeah. on that line, that there on that line. And we do not want the back to hit, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. So and the air's out. falling out of that quicker than you can say air. Just going to line it up in the back. Want to help me just pull it over this way just a little tiny bit? Yeah. Easy to work on with no floor, just a little bit. See what happens. Not bad. We're not going to... And the hoist is going to hit there a little bit. See where the hoist is going to hit on the side of the car? Right there? Uh, See yep. right down there? Let's pull it over this way a little bit further. Okay. Pick it up on this frame part. Right here, yeah. Uh, right here? Right on the corner. Gotcha. Let's try that. 
We're going down by on that side. Yeah. And we're close on this side. Let's just back one. just a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit. See what I'm going for, do you? Yeah. We just want to hoist down by that. I'm going to go up the front side, check that out. This one's not going to go down by because of this. It's not even hitting that, so we're just going to leave that in there for shits and giggles. Looks like it's going to go down by though. Can't have the vice grips on. I've also got that tack walled up in the back, so we don't want that to. That looks like it might hit. In the front. It does. Well, the, the hoist is going to hit the, the floor. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to want. Is that far enough ahead? No, nope, needs to come hurt further. Gee. Leaking now, is she? Oh, Pissing. Yeah. I'm gonna let it down, and then we'll go. That one looks like it's gonna hit, doesn't it? Your front one, yeah. Yeah. Just the corner of it. Just the corner of it, he says. <laughs> well, it can't hit the corner. Okay. okay. So what we're gonna do is we'll just let it down slow, and uh, and we might have to pick it off, right, and pull the arms out and let it down. Yeah. So that's what we'll do. We'll get it close, and then we'll go from there. This thing jumps. Tell me when I'm going to get close and hit. Um, yeah, getting close. All right. Even my side's going to take a corner out. What if we... I don't want to knock it off the back is what I don't want to do. You want to just pick the front up off? What if I, we'll just let it down, well, that's gonna hit that chassis. I had it on there before, I thought I did, but maybe I had it up further. This one's not even doing anything anyways, is it? No. Yeah, it's not. I don't really want to let it out of there just because that'll go down by, but it'll still catch it. I'm going to, that won't go down by there, will it? No. Um, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? What if I pull that out of there and we just set the front end down on? It yeah. shouldn't fall off the back. What I'm thinking, it shouldn't fall off the back. I think so. I'm gonna get in here and hold this. And you're gonna pull that out. You might have to pull that red thing. Yep. But just go easy, okay? Just yep. we'll just go easy. And I might need a hand. Ready? Right. Yep, hold it. Alright, keep that away. That's no problem at all. Good. This side's just gotta come ahead. Come ahead some. A little I don't bit. want to pull it off that back, that's for sure. We'll let that down and then we'll situate it. Alright. This is the welded one too. Okay. Good. Nothing's gonna hit on either side? No. Cool. I don't believe so. Okay. Pretty even on that thing, isn't it? Pretty even, Steven. Okay, so basically what I wanna do here, up here is, is I wanna pull, get this lined up here. These two lines, we'll, you hold that one there, and I'm gonna pull this. No, I can't pull the head because it's welded. Mm. I'm gonna knock that piece of weld off. And what we did is we just tacked it to the hoist so it wouldn't fall off. You know, just trying to be safer than normal. It's going good. You want the yellow cord? What's that? You want the yellow cord? No, I got a cord right here. All right. Should be fine. Should be fine.
down. Is it on that bar yet, crawling across the back? Yeah, we're on her pretty well. Yeah. Right on. And we can get in there and shim that up either side if it's not level, or we'll make it level, or we'll make it, yeah, we'll make it level. But uh, we're on. There she goes. Not sure if I like how far it went down there. I'm not sure if I like that. It can go up a little bit maybe. Pick it up just a little bit, Aiden. All right. Just cause. I don't know if it's gonna pull it off. You wanna help me pull this ahead a little bit? Yeah. Probably should have left it down on there, but we wanna line these lines up. Probably gonna pull it off that I suppose. That's not what we want to do, but the bars will hold it. Mine's about lined up. Yours is about lined up, is it? The front of that. Yeah. Right on. What's holding us up? Anything holding us up? That bar is holding us up in the front that we have welded on the front post. Just so I'm gonna get in there and cut that off. All right, but yeah. that's okay. It's holding it up on your side, eh? Why don't we? Yeah, it's holding it up on. But just well, on your side. Just on my side? Yeah, mine's in the air. So basically, we got going on. We want to get going on. We want to weld this down to this this floor piece. That's what we want to do. We want to get that down and weld it down to there. Um, that's good. And then I put a piece of square stock across from A pillar to A pillar. Um, I'm going to cut that off because that's holding us up now and I want it to go down a little bit further. Cool. So I'm going to go in there and cut that off, I guess. And I thought it was a bit uneven, but that's not going anywhere when that goes. When that front end goes down, that's not going anywhere. It's not hitting on either side. All right, Aiden, I'm gonna get in there and I want you to pass me the zip cut, if you will, through the window. All right. Ooh, that's a nice floor. Man, it's nice. So basically, that off. Got room in between there. That's good. Lots of room in between. That's good. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Um, it's holding it up on both sides. I don't want to get hit in the head. You want to just hold this up in the front, Aiden? Just come in the front, yeah, the front here. Come around. Just get inside where the engine normally is. Just stand there and just. You got gloves on, have you? Oh yeah. Just kind of hold. You know, just hold, I tell you, I'll let you know when. I just don't want it to drop right down quick. I did weld it sort of where you can't get at it, but. Just gonna eye it up in the front. We're gonna weld this. We're gonna weld the sucker on. Cool. Let's we'll pull the welder up through. Don't like getting that water on the floor, but it is what it is. It's a little bit of water. Um, 
we'll get this in place. We'll leave that grinder right in there. I'm gonna snake myself out. So to me, it looks like it's got to go over that way just a bit. Okay. And it's got to go back just a bit. Aye, too far my way. You want to go back my way? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Just like that. That's how easy it moves. Yeah, cool. All right, let's do, let's do this. It's good, good distance here. Why don't we just tack one? That's the line we want right there. But I want to go over that way just a bit. We want this to come over a bit. Grab the helmet, Aid. You got your helmet here? Uh, yeah. Did you bring it? Yeah. Right on. I'm You're up. It. And what I mean by up, I'll get Aiden to tack it on. Just want to get the same distance. That moves a little bit. Yes, it does. I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. Weld that right in that corner. Well, actually, weld it in the middle. And that way, there, if you have to cut it off, we can. Dead center? Yeah, just give me a dead center plunk on that way. Wonderful. So I just want to see a little distance. Thing going on here. Yeah, close enough. I think it is, isn't it? Aiden? Close yeah. enough, isn't it? Dead center? I would say put it on the dead, dead, right let me see that one, Check. right on the line, yeah give me a right there on the center of that and then I'll pull that head and then we'll put that one on, so hit me over here and then I'll pull that ahead, gotcha, do a good one, good, now, now we'll plunk it on, on that one, yep, I don't want to get the air turned on and on. Maybe. Welding outside too is kind of a thing a too, bit. eh? A little bit of wind. That looks good distance. Beautiful. We'll tack one on the outs. Take, take and tack that. Those three pieces. See that? Yeah, tack started on that heavy stuff. Yeah. And then take it up to that one. Okay. Yeah. And do you want this on too? Like one, yeah. two, three? Just tack it on this, on this right here in this corner. Yep. Tack it on that metal and tack it on that. Gotcha. Tack it all together. Cool. You got her, Pontiac. Well done. I think we're on we're on the front. So right now, at the present moment, the floor is part of the car because we've got our mount we've got our mount mounted on where we want it. And we're gonna weld that on. This metal over here, this is where the inside sill comes in. Now we got metal here. 
Now we can take metal and weld it here and go into this, and now we got an inside sill. So that stuff there is very crucial that you put, I keep saying it, that inside sill to put that on that floor is very crucial, or, or, or you have to take it back off and weld something along there and do it then. But now that we have everything, we can, uh, we can do it. Also, in the back, you can see where the quarter panel is. Now the quarter panel can be made, a new piece can be put on here, and then it got, you got an inside sill to go to to weld it to. If you don't do that, then it's, you're, you're really asking yourself for um, issues. Um, I want to take a look at making this thing as level as possible. I'm happy with the front. Happy with the front. We'll just take a look at it. I'm going to pump up that front tire. Yep. And then we'll stand back and take a look at it. It looks pretty nice to me, to be honest with you. Like It might need to go over that way some, by the looks of things. The body, seems like it's got to go over that way. Can you see, take a look at it, get right down the center of it. What do you think? The body looks like it's going to go over that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Just a little But bit. I'm going to pump up the front tire. But we're going to keep the center where that's at. We'll be able to move that over. And we'll eye it up, whether we like it or not, you know. Uh, there's a tape measure. I could do in there with a tape measure and do it that way. But you can see it. Look, you can see how see the B pillar on this side. You can see we got this much distance. Yeah. You can see the, and then go on this side. How much distance we got? Oh, yeah. We got quite a bit. So we want to go. We want to take. Actually. Back. A bit. Yeah. Exactly. We want to go that way. Yeah. So I was, do you know where you're looking, baby? Yeah. Right here. Right there. The distance there is different than the distance on the other side, so we want to take the body over a little bit, or the frame. And then we'll connect the B-pillar. You want to help me knock that over some there, Aiden? Yeah. Try not to move the car too much. Just the chassis. Pick up wherever you can, I guess. Like, um... What do you think? Ah! Where are you, where are you holding this? Just pick it up by the wheel. Maybe just pull on the wheel. Okay. Just take on the inside of the wheel and pull this way. All right. Yeah, pull it your way. Woo! That's heavy. Just a second now. Yeah. We're rocking it quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, pull. Just a second. I don't want to knock it off. Mm -hmm. Got a jack. You know, that jack won't. We can move the just move the body, I guess would be the easiest thing to do. Yeah. Just trying to move the frame. That works. <laughs> Come around, Chetty. Come around. Um, All right, go on up by the door for the B pillar, and just I'll get you to push very so very so easy, right here on the door. Like push it on that part. Yeah. Put your hand on that part, and just push, push it over easy, it. and I'll pull over easy. They're connected together, so. Right. Yep. Ah, just a second. I know what's hitting. This hoist is hitting. Gotcha. Um. Let it down. I don't want it down that far, but it's hitting on that, hitting on that piece. So we're gonna pull it over. Did we come over some? We did a little bit, didn't we? Take a let's take a look at it now. Car's down a little bit on that side. I'm gonna just put it on the hoist again and get it level, get that side up a little bit. I'm gonna get it's in. Here. Okay. What do you think of the distance and you think it's center or what? Close? Yeah. Your side's like a little bit lower, right? Yeah, okay. just gonna put it up. <laughs> What's that like now? Not 
bad. A little higher. Stand back there and tell me when. What do you think? Look, look level. Stand right in the middle of her. A little bit more. Liking that? I think so. Okay. You know, I mean, it's small by eye. Yeah. That looks good. I think that's pretty center too, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to get inside and do a measuring stick trick. Mm -hmm. Check that out. And then we're going to plunk. We'll make the back. It's hard to tell with the posters. They're so beat up, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, I'll just do the door, I guess. The door to the side of the floor. Two and three quarter. The door to the side of the floor is two and... Ah! Hey. We're off an eighth. You know what I mean? What an eighth yeah. is? Yeah, not very much. Just, yeah. Just, um, what can I say? Just a little bit. I'd say that's got it. That was easier than going outside and doing it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Two and five eighths. I'm going to say that's it. I'm going to leave it right like that. Right. I like that one. I like the height on this side. This one's hitting on this side, is it not? Yeah. It's hitting on that side. So this one here, we want to take this this piece of pipe and take it down and put it hard down. So I'm going to knock that off. Yeah. I don't like my boots being all wet, but we'll wipe it up. You want me to knock hold that, that one off and then re-weld it back down where it should be. Okay. You want me to hold that side? Um, I just gonna what's going to say down? now? I don't want that to take off either. If you know Front what I'm trying to it. say, it's not going to take off. No, it's going to take off. So. You want to pass me the welder? Yep. In through the window. Turn that welder. I need a helmet too. Yes. Well. <laughs> Got it, I think. Inside that sill comes down and comes over to here. So we got enough to hit that. Beautiful. See so the sill comes down here and then it'll come over here and weld onto this. Whatever access we have left, we cut it off. I got your helmet if you need it. I'm cooking with gas in here. Yeah. You want a helmet? Eh, not this second. All right. Um, it's not going anywhere. Can't see it. We should just take and make some pieces so it stays on there now where you got it where it is. Onto the floor. Yeah. So we're got a little bit of gap up in there. And that can be pried out again, I guess, up there. That can be put in. We're a little bit, a little different distance up in up front a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Shift it a little bit. Well, it has a little bit. I'm not sure where we moved it. I'm going to take a measure of this again, just for shits and giggles. Three 
Yeah. I'm gonna give that to you. Yep. I'm just wondering. I could tack that on there right now. Well, actually, I think we're centering the back. We're. I want to try this. Just measuring the the the, the door up the front. Oh, that's just oh, because of that. That's what that is. I've got more metal on the outside of this thing here. If you can see this piece of metal here, all that metal stuck out here. If I chewed all that metal off on that post, I'd have the same distance over here. So everything's excellent. Everything's excellent. Just a little bit of disguise going on there. I'm saying I could come just a little tiny, like. It's just pulling that post in. Yeah. That's all that's doing. Two and three quarter. Yeah, an eight. I'm all good. So, basically what I want to do now, I guess, is I want to make a piece that goes on the B pillar, come down and hits the floor so it can't go anywhere, and make a piece on this side that goes down and doesn't go anywhere. And uh, we're going to do that with, what are we going to do that with? It's basically where we want it. Um, I'm coming out. You can do that with anything, I suppose. I can do it with square stock. Oh, here. Just thinking here out loud, trying to figure out how we want to fabricate that to stay there. Light up. Looks good. Looks center too. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Go to the front. I like it, Aiden. You like it? Yeah. Coming together. Coming together. It's good in the front. We got see the same distance. We got the same distance up here. I'm liking that right there. We've got the same distance going across there. That's good going across there. That's awesome. Awesome. Post is looking good. I gotta stand back on this side. Beautiful. You are jolly beautiful. Come look at this, Aiden. Come look at this, sweetheart, if you want to take a look. I'll step back and show you what I mean after you come over and take a look. You can see as we got that set on there, can you see the same distance? of metal underneath going with that, you know what I mean? See how thick that piece of metal is showing? See it all the way back? See how it's equal all the way? It's kind of telling me that it's on there, right? It's going to tell me that it's on there with the chassis. I mean, you can eye it up and see that that metal's almost the same thickness all the way back, and you know what? Yeah, it just keeps going. Cool, that's what we want. Wheel well, we'll take in the wheel well we made, take it in there, shove it in there, mark it, and weld it to the inside here. So let's make that connect on the B pillar so it does not take off anywhere. All right. I've got this. How many inches is that? I said two and three. I'll get another piece. Get ready with a zip cut aid, or I'll get actually. Just going to get a piece of metal to make a net piece of angle on that. I'll cut. Hi, right on. I would never know, you just said. <laughs> Tim's over using the little boys' room. <laughs> so we got this piece of square stock here. It's one eighth. What I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it off and then I'm gonna cut it however wide my B pillar is. This much of it's gonna run up the post and this piece is gonna run over to the floor. And then we'll put a gusset on it. And I'll show you exactly what I mean with the zip cut. Just let's pull that out. Everything's in place. Beautiful. You are, Jolene. 
you can see how what I mean by the wheel well is going to come down in around here and close that off quarter panel goes into that inside sill brand new floor This is to hold the B pillar. Run this up the B pillar, going like that. We'll run that there. We'll run this over to the floor. Yeah. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. And then we're going to do this. Get to grab this for a second. The flapper wheel right there with the grinder. I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. Yeah. We'll get a grinder that. Clean them up. And then we'll do this. So I was talking about triangles. So when we weld this up the post, this over to the floor, so it won't bend, we'll put that in there. Dead you know what I mean? Yeah. And then we'll do the exact same thing on that. We'll make that good. So we'll grab a pair of vice grips. I'm just gonna clean them little pieces up a little bit. Kind of a shame to put them rusty metal on them new floors, but we'll just take this and clean it up a second. Make it look good. Around the corners, maybe. Alright, 
after I get him in there, I'll probably get you to weld them. All right, right on. Will you slide yourself up in there and yeah. give you a screwdriver? On that, on the B pillars, there is some, uh, I guess you would call it cork. I guess you would call it. I'll show you exactly what I want done. Yep. There's some cork. See that stuff right there? Yeah. I want that pulled out of there. Okay. Here, here, just a pair of screwdriver to pull it out. <laughs> and if you need a pair of pliers to pull it out, um, I'll give you some. Just clean them up a little bit, make them a little nicer. This is one eighth plate. How you making out? Uh, not bad, it's pretty stuck. Need anything? Uh, I think I'm alright, just working at it. <laughs> okay. Take two of these. We might as well take two of the same. That'll be this one. And this one, there's a little package we buy, and we'll put that in there. So when that goes up on the post, that can't this, you know, it's a one-eighth plate, you still can bend, but we don't want it to bend. So we'll put a gusset in there like so. So it has a lot more strength. And then we'll go from there. Just go, and I need to go up two inches. Two inches, like here? Yeah, up that post. Just, that's, just two inches. Okay. Fine. Everything's still in the center. Looks good. And what I mean by the center, you can look right down that trunk lid and line the holes up at the rear end. We know we're good. You know what I'm saying? When you dig do this, line up to the rear end, looks good. Fantastic. You got her? A bit. She's stuck in there. That's what they do. <laughs> Need a pair of channel locks pulled out? It's got the little like tab. Nip. Yeah, a little nail. Put your tab in. Can you get your tab in or screwdriver down and pull your bend your tab out? Yeah. You don't have to go up that high. Just a couple inches. See what you got going on. You're fair enough. Well, it's fair. Plenty? Yeah, you got plenty. All right. Plenty. Plenty, big guy. Coming in and gonna weld them on there. We'll trade you places. All right. Coming out? Oh, come on out. Come on out. Little bit of a squeeze. <laughs> Nothing you can't handle. Okay. All right. All right. All right. This one here. Got that screwdriver? Yep. Just knock that one off. Take, take this one off. Right. I'm not 
not sure if I'm on the my mic or not. Just gonna check the, the distance again. Just gotta come over just a bit. Just a bit. So that's gonna go up there like that. Have a hand or no, I don't want to hammer that, I don't think. Hmm. Can you pass me hammer Aiden? And then I'll get you to turn on the welder. Just pass me a hammer. I want to tack that over there some. Thank you. And and we'll get the welder turned on. The door. Ooh, that's perfect. 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 Have a grinder right there. I just want to uh, snip a couple. Uh, flapper wheel. Flapper wheel will do. All right. I'll get, I'll get. Perfect. Slide it under this foot. Here. Yeah, that's good. Good. because I can fill it full of weld. All right, helmet. Yep. Two and three, three quarter. Beautiful. Thank you. This on the floor here. Hmm. I'll check that out first. Beautiful. Get it down to that square stop would be nice.
I, I want a coat hanger if possible. Coat hanger. Good. Awful needy in here, ain't I? <laughs> Awful needy. Cool. You're a badass. <laughs> Aiden's a badass. secure it the best they can. So we got it along the floor there. We've got to do it along the top. Got some gap going on there. And I just yeah. want to make sure I have put some weld in there and fill her up. You know those um, uh, pliers I had to uh, cut the wire? Are they down there at, by any chance? So I can just cut this and uh -huh. the gap going in there. I can fill it with this. <laughs> Them's the ones. Them's the ones. All right. Cut that. Straighten the bad boy out. I'm going to cut that square stock off after, so I don't want to hit that, but I just want to weld it in there nice and tall. There for now. I have a gusset here somewhere. Put a gusset in it so it don't take off on us. Just gonna put it in the center so it looks right. What the a gas tank? Must be wind blowing. We got a noisy crow here, have we not? <laughs> He's about. He's hanging around. I'm going to why not weld the other side? Just so it looks good. I'm just spotting it like this. So the weld looks better. Sometimes you try to run a bead in places like that. Look poopy on you. 
So I'm just trying to make one spot at a time. So there's one point of connection that's on there. We'll cut that off here in a minute, but that holds the B pillar in place. I'm going to put one on the other side. Yes, I am. Finish welding that and then grind that off. Put one on the other side and then we can cut the square stock off and then we'll be in place. So, you know, it's not going to fall. If you know what I'm trying to say. What do I want to do? I want to finish welding that on. I might as well keep this piece because it it uh, it wasn't take a measurement. Couldn't ask for better. Couldn't ask for better. I'm gonna do that right there like so. spot. Good. Hitting hit in the exact same place too. <laughs> that you is it baby? That's good because this is me. I'm going to put it in the exact same spot. Come on. Turn that wire speed up just a little bit, Aiden. Yep. Please and thank you. Okay, try it. Let's try it, man. Ah, that's it. Too fast. Slow it down some. That good. Great. Or a little slower. slower. What's it on now? Five and a half. Five and a half. All right. this in. A little slower. Beautiful. this over a little bit. piece of metal for that right there. Yeah. Um, 
I can put a piece in there anytime. Now I had another gusset. Watch is hot if you want to grab it for me. Yeah. Please and thank you. Please and thank Hot? No. Water cooler. Why aren't you tough? <laughs> What's it on for temperature? Is it C or B? Uh, it's on C. Damn it. Eat on that time, I bet you. Made sure it's staying on there is what I made sure of. <laughs> We're on there now. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? I need to, I'm just going to make that look prettier. I'm going to weld this guy across here. Can we get the grinder with the zip cut? Yep. I more or less want to see it sit on its own. That's what I want to see. Cool. And then I'm going to cut this off. Uh -huh. Cut that one off.
Cut this one off. speed's a little high but I think we got where we're going I'm gonna put, a, put a little piece in there but that's fine maybe a little piece in there cool I'll give you that Aiden yeah I'm gonna pass you out the grinder I'll give that to Aiden on the other side Aiden I'll give it to you yep. Come I don't know which way they go they go both out this way yep I'm gonna give them both to you Gotcha. Perfect. I'm going to give you, I'm just going to turn that off for a second. We'll turn the welder off. We'll leave this stuff in here. I'll leave the helmet in here. Basically what I want to do is get out. I want to get out and watch. I'm just going to let the hoist down. Hopefully the car doesn't move. So we're on there, got a gusset on there. Going anywhere. That one zapped that on there good or not? That one there had burned that one on a little better. Bless you, sweetheart, bless you. So basically what I'm gonna do is get out and uh, let the hoist down. And uh, hopefully the car is gonna stay the exact same place. So the floor is in the car. We need a couple little pieces that we're gonna manufacture there to make that look a little bit better, basically manufacturer piece of square stock in there I want to grab to get it out I can see how... I'm gonna check my mic is that good cool so we're connected in the front got the same distance same gap we're on the line that we wanted to be on for the front end we are we are we are uh, got the back end welded on, got the gussets in. We might need a little couple pieces to make it stronger or better. But what I'm saying is, is that's gonna hold that on there. And now this, this is what's gonna go on. We'll end up doing a little bit more repair on the post. You know, we'll do some more repair on the post there and make so it can gotta stay on there, whatever we need quarter panel is going to come down and go over to the inside sill which will hold it even better the, the post on the bottom has got to be connected but basically what we got going on is the car is not going down over that's what we want so I'm gonna let the hoist down keep your fingers crossed Aiden <laughs> should just kind of come down and nothing happen car should not move Perfect. 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 Car is connected. Mm, she's old. Yeah. Cool. That's basically what we wanted. So, there it be. Now it's connected. Now the floor, the only way the floor can come off the chassis is if we unbolt it. That's the only way it can come off if we unbolt it. So basically we're stuck on the we're stuck on there. That's good. We'll smooth that up a little bit, put a more a little bit more a little bit more weld on it, a couple little pieces on it, but the B that B pillar is connected. The A pillar is not connected yet. 
what we did is we connected up in front here. That's connected so the body's not going anywhere. So now it's just more or less putting pieces in and make it stay just a little bit more. And uh, that's how she goes. And it seems to be, well, it is center. It's centered, it's level, it's cool. Let's just do this for a second. I'm gonna do this. You come back tomorrow, and uh, basically me and Aiden will probably be doing some, I'm not sure actually. That goes in there like that. And that'll be welded to the floor. I think we got a little different shape going on, but we'll make sure we get the shape, and we'll push that in. We'll cut it to the, to the shape of the floor, and then we'll weld the quarter panel to the, to the, to the inner fender. You know what I'm saying? Piece of piss. <laughs> Alrighty, very happy, got the floor in it. Got it secured, got it on there straight. Now we just gotta get the wheel wells in it, get the quarter panels tied on, get the front A pillar tied on. Uh, gonna have to, once we get the, the wheel wells tied in, then we can make our piece to come out to here. We don't know what's going on there yet. Didn't make that. That's just a panel that we'll have to make. But basically the sill is, or the wheel well is the next piece. And then that will tighten the body up even more because the sill, or the wheel well is gonna weld to the car. And then it's gonna weld to the framework that we've made for the floor. Alrighty, have a good one everybody. I'm glad Aiden's back. Now we're gonna get some work done.